It's no secret in the United States there is a blood shortage going on, and here today at Wayne State College, they're doing everything they can to help combat that shortage. People came out to give blood on Wednesday in the Canner Student Center at Wayne State College. It was a chance for people to make an impact and help fight the national blood shortage affecting the country. According to the American Red Cross, every two seconds someone in the United States needs blood or platelets. Allie Jackson, who was in charge of the blood drives at Wayne State, said there's been some new faces that came out to donate. Actually, this drive, we've had a lot of new people donate, so I don't know if that's just because we're better at getting the word out or if it's just kind of like people. Since blood drives have been going on at Wayne State, it hasn't just been students or staff members at the college giving blood. So we do have a lot of like the outside community that come in, which is really nice, um, but we do still have our good number of students and staff and faculty that come and donate. When trying to convince people to donate, Jackson and other organizers stress the importance of giving blood during a nationwide shortage. We just really stress that there's a shortage and we really stress that like, hey, like if you just come in and donate, you're saving three lives. Once you say like you save how many lives, people are like, oh wow, that's a lot. And it, I mean, just think if you have just five, those are it's 15 lives you're saving just from whole blood just right there. I also wanted to know why Jackson is so passionate about blood drives and why they are so important. It's really rewarding knowing that you don't know where you're, you don't know where your blood's going. It could go to Omaha. It could go to New York. You really don't know and it's really it's really nice to realize that you may not know the person but you are saving someone. And representatives for this blood drive here at Wayne State College are telling me there's going to be another one held on the 15th, and they are expecting a much bigger turnout. In Wayne, Nolan Huffman, News Channel, Nebraska.